All right, guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's currently Saturday the 4th of March, and anyone from Northern Ireland is going to know straight away what I'm going to do today. Obviously, trout fishing. Um, our season here in Northern Ireland doesn't start or doesn't open till the 1st of March every year. So, obviously, I've been working this past few days, and I'm only getting out now, and I'm absolutely etching to get at it. As you can see, the river is in pretty low condition, which could make things tricky. We're desperately needing some rain here, as it's been quite dry for a few days. But look here, I'm not going to waffle on anymore. I'm going to get straight to the pint and get some fishing done. Just a quick rundown on the gear I'm using today. It's the favourite Bluebird, 0.8 to 5 gram rod, so it's super, super light. It's an extra fast version. And um, that's paired with the Daiwa Legalis LT2500 reel. LT standing for light and tough, so it's a super, super light setup. You would barely even notice in your hand. That's coming down to the four pound um, fin mono. Again, supple and super smooth. That's running on a three pound five um, fluorocarbon leader. I'm gonna start off on some of my own handmade spinners. Gonna give that a shot first to see if we can manage something on the spinner. If not, we might have to change up till a few wobblers or maybe even a few honeyworms. But yeah, that's the setup today. We're gonna to get started and see what happens. So, first cast, folks. It'd be great to get one on the first cast. Water's extremely low. Desperately need some rain here. But we'll see what happens. A wee bit of colour in the water right enough, I'm happy enough to see that, but I'd like to see some more water in the system. It's very low, as I said. <clears throat> we'll start off on the spinner. Almost forget how light these things is whenever you're using this whole setup. I've been casting the head baits most of the year there for or most of the winter, sorry, for pike. I'm using big heavy lures, so I mean when you're using wee light things like this and like a two gram spinner, it's a big difference from using a two hundred gram lure. It'll take about thirty or forty casts by the time I get used to this. <coughs> Such an amazing morning to be out all the same. I don't know why you just can hear the birds chirping and stuff in the background there, but that's class. I love to hear nature like that. It's very important whenever you're fishing for trout in these wee streams and rivers to wear good Polaroid glasses. It's almost like sight fishing, you know. You can actually see the trout follow the, follow the spinner or your bait. You know, if you don't have the Polaroids on, you're not really going to see that as easy. I'm going to try a wee bit of slack water this time. That wasn't a great cast. <laughs> it's a bit deeper here as well. Perfect. That's the one. Come on. here <laughs> to get these spinners and stuff to go the right direction as I said earlier there it it takes a while to get on to the lighter stuff it just flies with the wee rod so far I've had no shows or no takes no bites probably about 20 casts in oh I think I just had a take there or a follow Just as soon as I mention that, has to be one in this fast water, has to be one somewhere. Come on. Yeah. Yo! Come on. Ooh. Look at that, folks. Perfect. 
first trout of 2023. No monster by any means, but perfect. Look at the colours in that. Perfect. Get him back and hopefully get another one. Let's see if we can get another one. Over the tree. If that cast doesn't get me a fish, I don't know. It definitely deserves one. I can see every movement the spinner is making through the Polaroids here. And that's exactly what you want. I can see them coming, you know, if they're aggressive or if they're being shy. Not sure if you can see it through the through the camera lens there, but oh, my casting needs to improve, or this is going to cost me a fortune today. I do make my own spinners and stuff, but it still costs money. <laughs> Look at that for a trick. It's all about taking your time and having patience whenever you get stuck in a tree. Some people tend to just yank it and pull, but if you just let it slide up slowly and then hit it to yank at the last minute, normally it just flicks off the top of the branch. Perfect cast, come on. Could you see me falling down this bloody bank? Ending up in the river. Missed one. Oh. See if we can get him again. Come on. Come on. That's one thing about fishing here for trout. They're always like really shy or really timid. You watch them and you see them darting out, they nip it, and you, sometimes you can't understand how they don't hurt themselves. You can feel the nip. Come on. Quick change over to the honeyworm. Just to see if we can lure anything out of this fast flowing water on a jig.
fish on. Yep. Ooh. Glass markings in there. Get him back. I think I just got another hit or else that was a rock. Such a confusing day today. Just find out what they want. Yep. Woo! Again, another one fell to the honeyworm. And slip back. Just lost one again. Come on. Fish on. That's a good one too. Oh. What a class fish. They're definitely the biggest I've caught today. They normally don't get much bigger than that in here. But whoa. What a good way it is to get off to the new year of trout fishing. Slip this one back. See if we can get another one out of that same spot.
Yep. Oh. I've lost count how many bites I've lost today. Well, that's a wrap for today. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. But I've ended the day with, I think, seven fish, or else six. So I definitely can't complain for the first day back at the trout fishing this season. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed making it. It's definitely been a, an experience. Um, so if you could like, subscribe and all that. And um, even drop a few comments below if you want. And I'll hopefully get back to you. If this goes well, I'll maybe see about doing a few of these in the future. Again, tight lines to everyone out in the trout this year.